Phoenix X-Link versus Smart versus Max versus Remote. Which Topton scanner is right for you? Hey, Bob G Motors family. If you're even remotely into car diagnostics, you're going to love what I've got in store for you today. We're going deep into one of the most requested comparisons out there. Topton's premium diagnostic tools. The Phoenix X-Link, Smart, Max, and Remote. Now, before we kick this off, I've got a question for you. Which Top Don scanner can handle both J2534 protocols and online ECU programming for Porsche, Jaguar, and Land Rover? Think you know the answer? Drop it in the comments right now, and we'll reveal it at the end. This one's going to test how well you know your tools. And a quick but important copyright disclaimer before we begin. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. All content, yes, every image, comparison, and tool breakdown is presented to help automotive technicians and enthusiasts make smarter, safer decisions. We follow fair use principles strictly. No copyrighted materials are used for commercial purposes, and all trademarks belong to their respective brands. Always follow OEM guidelines and local laws when performing vehicle diagnostics. All right, now let's get into it. And hey, if you've ever found our videos helpful, do me a quick favor. Smash that like button and comment something simple like helpful or subscribed. Let's aim high. 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments in 24 hours. And if you're one of our amazing regulars, thank you. If you're new, don't be shy. Tap that subscribe button and show Bob G Motors some love. Let's make it count. So top Don, one brand, multiple high-end diagnostic tools. But what sets them apart? Which one is perfect for your workshop? Whether you're working on passenger cars, heavy-duty trucks, or even EVs, this comparison will help you choose wisely. Let's start with hardware, the heart of any diagnostic tool. The Phoenix X-Link brings power with a quad-core 2.0 GHz processor for gigabytes RAM and 128 gigabytes ROM. Solid, right? But then you look at the Phoenix Max, and it's a beast. An octa-core 2.0 GHz chip paired with 8 GB RAM and a massive 256 GB ROM. This means lightning-fast diagnostics, especially when multitasking or working with heavy software features like ADAS calibration or online programming. Even screen-wise, the Max dominates with a 13.3-inch Full HD display, making it the biggest among the bunch. The rest, including the X-Link, Smart, and Remote, all share a 10.1-inch screen with a 1280 by 800 resolution. Good enough, but you'll really feel the difference with Max's crisp visuals, especially when reviewing topology maps or running guided diagnostics. Battery? X-Link, Smart, and Remote all come with a solid 12,600 mAh battery, but the Max edges ahead with a monstrous 18,600 mAh, giving you that extra peace of mind for long sessions without a power bank in sight. Now let's talk build and connectivity. The Phoenix Smart and Max both utilize the MDCI Pro Connector, which supports Bluetooth, making them much more flexible in the workshop. No wires, no tangles, just clean, remote diagnostics. Meanwhile, the X-Link and Remote still rely on wired VCI connections. That's reliable, but maybe a bit less convenient. What about software and capabilities? This is where things really get juicy. All four devices, X-Link, Smart, Max, and Remote, support full system diagnostics across a wide range of vehicles, 41 special service functions, active testing, VIN scanning, remote desk access, and topology mapping, offline programming for Ford, Mazda, Vauxhall, and Opel, flash hidden functions for brands like Benz, BMW, VW, Porsche, Jeep, Dodge, Chrysler, Toyota, and Honda. So at their core, they all offer comprehensive diagnostic power. But where they diverge is in advanced ECU programming and protocol support. Let's break it down. Phoenix X-Link supports ECU programming for six brands. Benz, BMW, VW, Audi, Skoda, and Seat. That's solid for many users. But if you work on more premium or complex vehicles, you want to look at the smart, Max or Remote. They support ECU programming for 15 brands, including Porsche, Jaguar, Land Rover, Nissan, Infiniti, Subaru, Renault, Hyundai, and Kia. That's more than double what X-Link offers. 
Also, when it comes to protocols, Xlink lacks support for J2534. This can be a deal breaker for users working on newer or more secure vehicles. The smart, max, and remote, however, fully support J2534, along with an FD and do IP. That's a major plus if you're handling modern systems and gateway secured modules. And here's something very few people talk about, remote diagnostics. Only the Max and remote versions offer true remote diagnostic capabilities, allowing you to assist customers or troubleshoot vehicles off-site. Think about that power, working on a client's vehicle without even being there physically. Oh, and if you're into heavy-duty diagnostics, all four support HD add-ons with Topton's heavy-duty software and cable set. You can expand into buses, farm equipment, and trucks, all with the same platform. Want to test your memory? Let's do a quick mid-video challenge. Can you recall which scanner supports remote diagnosis and has J2534 protocol support? Type your answer in the comments right now. Also, don't forget to like if you're learning something new. Let's hit our goal. 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments within 24 hours. That kind of support means I can keep bringing these in-depth videos to you. Now, let's take a moment to talk about value for money, because this matters when choosing the right tool. The Phoenix X-Link comes in as one of the more affordable options, with an annual upgrade fee of around backslash $5.45. It's ideal for those who need basic online programming, excellent diagnostics, and can compromise on wireless or remote access. Then you've got the Phoenix Smart and Phoenix Max, priced higher but justified with advanced protocols, wider ECU programming coverage, larger storage, and superior speed. The Smart carries an upgrade fee of backslash $7.95 per year or backslash $10.99 for two years. Same goes for the Max, but with added performance and a better display. Lastly, the Phoenix Remote is more of a hybrid, carrying features of the Max but designed for off-site support teams. It's also priced at a premium but gives your garage next-level flexibility. Still with me? Awesome. Here's my personal take. If you're running a busy, modern garage and work on a variety of brands, go with the Max. That giant screen, processing speed, and broad support for J2534 can FD, do IP, and remote functions make it unbeatable in terms of performance and versatility. If you're just starting out or working in a local setup with familiar vehicles, X-Link gives you the best bang for your buck without overcomplicating your workflow. If you often help other garages remotely or want to build a mobile diagnostic service, Phoenix Remote is the king of flexibility. Now I want to hear your opinion. Which top-down scanner do you think is best suited for your use case? Let me know in the comments. I actually read them all and reply to as many as I can. Before we wrap up, let's go back to that question I asked at the start. Which top-down scanner supports both J2534 protocol and ECU programming for Porsche, Jaguar, and Land Rover? The correct answer is Phoenix Smart, Max, and Remote. Each of these supports J2534 and a wide range of OEM programming, including those premium brands. If you got it right, drop a got it right in the comments. And here's a quick pro tip. If you're ever working with newer vehicles, especially European models, always check if your scanner supports DoIP and KinFD. These protocols are becoming the new standard, and tools like the Max and Smart are future-ready in that sense. Oh, and one more fun fact before we close. Did you know that some high-end diagnostic scanners can even access adaptive cruise control calibration and park assist modules that many entry-level tools can't even detect? The deeper you go, the more powerful these tools become. All right, friends, that's a wrap on today's mega comparison. Whether you're a solo mechanic, workshop owner, or just a tool enthusiast, I hope this helped you decide what fits your needs best. If you've watched till here, you're a legend. Please, show some love. Hit that like button so we reach our goal of 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments in 24 hours. Subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video with a fellow technician or garage owner who might benefit from it. And if you found this video valuable, a super thanks goes a long way in supporting Bob G Motors. Thanks for watching till the end. Until next time, stay curious, keep learning, and happy diagnosing.